Hey guys, it's Heather doing an Ipsy haul. I think I'm late on this one. <laughs> um, and I think I'm just now gonna open up December's Ipsy. I'm just, I'm just really thankful for coffee. Because I look back in my other videos that I did and I seen um, that I did Ipsy November was like my first Ipsy I've ever done and like I've never bought it before. And then here we are in January, but I never did December because I have these two Ipsy bags that have been sitting here. I don't know, you guys, I don't know what's wrong with me, but I kept thinking like another bag was going to come. So I didn't open it in December thinking, oh, I got another one coming. And then we had all these blizzards that came through. It's been crazy here in Minnesota. And then we get like huge, huge drifts. Like I've got a drift out there that's like 12 feet tall. So we didn't get any packages. We didn't get any delivered. We didn't get any mail. We didn't get any of that. So in my mind, so I just kept putting it off and then the holidays came and then there was other stuff that popped up and... <laughs> anyway... So I didn't get it canceled in time because I think I told you guys that I was going to cancel like the, the small sample size one. Um, so I never got around to um, canceling that, but I have now. I think I'm going to get it again in January, but I canceled it in time. So I'm not going to get the little one in February, but then I did the upgrade because I want to see what that's all about. Like the Clam X, I think it's called. So I was expecting, I was waiting for a third bag because I had ordered extras. So me just having the two, I thought, well, there's still another one coming, so I'll wait. And I've been waiting and I've been waiting. And then it just kind of dawned on me. I'm like, wait a second. I bet they have it in here. I bet they have my extra sale items in here because I think when I clicked on stuff and buying it, I think it was like an add-on to my bag. <laughs> Again, like I said, I'm still learning about Ipsy, okay? So, hear me out. So we're gonna open this one. This one, this is the one I'm really not, I don't really care for, but um, we'll open it. And if anything, I think I'll throw it in with my giveaway or I also have another big, huge box that I'm gonna be donating to like a women's shelter. Um, so maybe I'll just throw this in with, with that. Um, I'm gonna flip it over so you don't see my address. I don't want you guys showing up on my doorstep. <laughs> okay, I don't, I mean, we can be friends. Okay, so in here, I'm assuming this is the little one. Treat yourself. This, oh wait, yeah, this is December because it says December 22 on it. So yes, it's December's, okay? So what do we have? So we have a bag, which has got some little goodies in it, a brush, and then whatever this is. I don't know what this is. I haven't heard of this brand. Have you guys heard of this? The Nanette Lepore Everlasting. Everlasting what? What do we have? Was it like a little perfume? Do not spray into the eyes. That's a good tip. Don't spray perfume in your eyes. I like that. Or don't spray towards a naked flame. What's a naked flame? Have you ever, I've never heard that term, a naked flame. Do not spray into the eyes or towards a naked flame. I'm gonna have to look this up. What the heck is a naked flame? Am I totally getting sidetracked? Naked flame. Apparently it's a song. <laughs> it's a song. Okay, hold on guys. Naked flame meaning, how about we do that? A naked flame is a flame that's exposed nothing stopping you from touching it okay so like a candle like it's just kind of like there never heard of naked flame i've never heard of that term all right i just learned something today did you guys know that did you just learn you know do you feel good you feel good about it anyway okay so it's a perfume okay so you're gonna have to excuse me i was just choking on my coffee <clears throat> 
So this perfume, I don't think I should spray it because I don't think I'm gonna keep it or should I keep it? Because I kind of feel like if I'm gonna like donate this, I should donate it as a whole and I shouldn't just nitpick and pull stuff out. I don't know, what do you guys think? Is that kind of bad that I wanna keep this cute friggin' brush? You guys that know me, you know, right? You know, if you're new to this channel, how you doing? I have a makeup brush addiction. We'll move past that. Okay, I kinda wanna spray it though, guys. I kinda wanna spray it. I, or maybe I can, I can smell it without spraying it. So hold on, I'm not gonna put my nose on it so I can keep it sanitary. Well, that just smells pretty. Actually, I think I'm gonna keep this because I think my daughter who's in college would like this. I'm gonna keep it. The, the notes are rose essence, white jasmine, which she likes jasmine, my, my one daughter. She loves, she likes jasmine, I believe. The mid notes, cause those were the top notes. The mid notes are bee blossom honey and white orchid. And then the base notes is sandalwood, dark musk and amber. That actually sounds really nice. Like those are really, those are nice words to stick together. I like that. Okay, so then we have this really cute fluffy blender brush. I like that one guys. Like it's got just a little bit of like lavender in the tips and then you kind of got like this twisted transparent. It kind of reminds me of like a unicorn horn, like a skinny one. You know what I mean? Like is that the cutest? Then you got some like purple gems right there. I think I need to keep this one too, guys. I don't need it though. Maybe I should, maybe I don't need it. Okay, so let's see what's in the bag. We got this cute, we got some three bold pretty colors. We got some matte bronzer by Milk Makeup. So what is, this is the bag, right? This is the bag I think that's got just like small small sizes or not like full size. But having that, that's kind of nice. And then that's a decent little like travel size. It's not like a sample, it's like, so, so far this is like pretty nice. So I was like impressed by this. So we have some Milk Makeup Baked Matte Bronzer. You know, and I don't have um, a Milk Makeup bronzer so maybe i'll keep that and try it I, look you get a decent amount too to like try it out this is kind of nice then what else do we have we have another we have a small little um, tart face tape foundation in the color light sand 205 just like a little probably getting like a couple well depending on how much you use another thing is sophia and um Mabel Too Pretty Highlighter Blush Duo. I'm kind of liking this bag. So here's this. Looks like they're powders. This is the little bag, right? This is the glam bag. Because to me, this kind of seems like it's a, it's a decent bag. So I'm glad I got more because instead of, um, getting, you know, like just making my reaction to like the November bag after I saw that and it was like, ah, I don't like that. But this one I do like. So it'd be interesting to see what January's will be to kind of like, I've tried it three times to kind of see like, is it worth it? Is it not? I'm leaning towards no, um, but based on this, this is decent. Um, so I kind of like this so far. So that's that bag. We got, you know, the, the duo blush highlighter that I just showed you. We got the, the milk makeup bronzer, um, that perfume. You got the cute little brush. And then we have the deluxe sample of the Tarte face tape. So I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of impressed by this. 
And then does everyone get the same thing? Or does it like vary from person to person? Okay, another sip of coffee. Hold on, please. Here's the Glam Bag. Is this the, they call that Glam Bag Plus? Anyway, so we're not gonna open that one quite yet. I'll just show you some of the extra things. Um, I just got like three things. So um, this seems like a full-size beauty blender. Yeah, like, it says queen. Get your cute little crown on top. And then this is Beauty Blender Opal Essence Serum Primer. So there's that. Is it too bright? Sometimes the light's a little too bright. Feels like a really nice serum. We're gonna give that a few minutes to just set on the skin to see how that feels. But right now it kinda, even as it's soaking in a little bit, it feels a little oily, kind of. But like a dry oil, kind of like a, not greasy oil. But it's real slick. But then it, like now my hand, feel, my, my fingers feel real silky. Not sticky or anything like that, but um, it did add some nice shine to the back of my hand. But it still feels like it's 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 still working on what it whatever it's attempting to do. Oh, it also has an SPF of 38, dry oil primer. Okay, so that makes sense that I said dry. <laughs> I didn't know how to explain that. Like, it's not a wet oil; it's a dry oil. That always is always uh, confuses me when I hear that term, dry oil. It's like, what? It's not. It's not like a slippery, greasy oil. It's a dry oil. And you, you just got to experience it, then you're like, oh yeah, that's right. Okay, you know, I got it. Poor minimizing primer. I mean, any product that says that, you you got me. Because I don't know if the camera can see, but even with foundation and makeup, like, mama got some pores. I got some texture, but that's how skin is, right? And then the other thing I bought, and then we'll get to what's in the bag, is a definer liner from Seattle, London, in the color Starburst. Is that what I got? Here we go, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, so we have a nice little liner. Oh yeah, so then my, let's check the hand, the hand. It just feels, You know, like, I guess if you were real oil, an oily person, you wouldn't want to use that because um, it doesn't just feel moisturized. It does have like an oily feeling afterwards. It doesn't fully set on your skin, but it does feel really nice. It feels very hydrating if you have like really dry skin. But if you're like a super oily person, I think I will try this because I only struggle with oil like on my nose, like right here, and then um, sometimes my forehead and the chin, like the T-zone, you know, like I'll get just a little bit, but not like crazy. But like on the winter, like my cheeks, so sometimes we'll have little dry patches. So I, I'll try that and we'll see how that goes. But um, so back to the definer liner by Seattle London. So it's a shimmery nude, right? That's kind of looks like like a highlight. Like I put a pretty decent. You see how it just kind of catches the light? Like isn't that just pretty? I really like this liner. Our other little bag. So we got Kate Somerville. Um, all skin types exfoliate cleanser daily foaming wash that's a thing i need to have my my um, facial cleansers be a foaming wash i think like when like right off the top of my head i'm thinking of like jeffree star his skincare line like i've got his um his moisturizer i love this it smells like strawberries too like i just i love it but like his cleanser that he got out, that came out when he launched everything, um, when he first launched, it's the cleanser isn't a foaming cleanser, so I put it on and I, I know it's just me, but I feel like it's not working. It probably it works just fine, honestly it does. But to me, my little my little peanut brain, I need my cleansers to foam. Then I feel like it's actually working. Unless, it, you know, it's obviously not, unless it's like a makeup melt, but anyway. But Kate Somerville, excellent brand, very high-end. It's very, uh, it's very clinical. 
like their packaging it seems very um, clinical, I guess you could say. Um, not like cutesy and floofy and, you know, trendy or anything like that. So that's the bottle inside. That's the exterior package. And then on to the next product, we have the Pink Lips Soft Matte Primer. The velvety matte texture glides effortlessly over the skin, smoothing over imperfections for a poreless effect. And that's that. I've never tried their primer, so I'm gonna touch it because I'm gonna keep this and like review it, try it. Like a, a silky slash tacky feel, so that would be good for applying makeup over it. So I'll try it because I am an oily girl, so when I see that soft matte primer, and then when you throw in that whole poreless thing. Next product. I see something I totally love. Oh, Truly, you guys, I love Truly. I and I, I'm a dry girl. I usually don't, I don't use their butters in the summer. Like I'll use it for fall, winter, and spring. It's a little cooler, you know, like drier weather, kind of a whatever, you know, like my skin needs it. In the summer, my skin doesn't need as much hydration. Like they have that iconic swirl. And their butters will, um, I put their um, butters on, especially like my legs. I get out of the shower and I just, like you get just a little bit out and they actually come with spatulas or you can buy spatulas. And then once you're, this, it literally is like butter. Like it's, it's like whipped butter. Okay, it's just like whipped butter. I noticed like, hours hours later even like the next day i can still feel my skin is super hydrated if you guys have not tried truly's butter like if you try anything on their line like they have serums they have polishes uh, they got actually you know quite a bit of products um, i really recommend their butters and then you can get some that have like you know how you can get products that have like the cbd in it I personally think it's kind of a waste. That's my opinion. I'm entitled to my own opinion. But when you have products that have like that CBD in it, it's they're significantly more. Um, so you're gonna pay a lot more for a product that has CBD in it. Um, I don't think it's worth the money, but that's just my opinion, okay? Because I've tried it with and without and I've tried many, many products with and without and I really don't see any difference except for like a, a price difference. So anyway, I've been doing too much chit chatting in this video. Okay, so the next product, we have Firm Beauty with three, my hands are now like super moisturized. <laughs> now I'm not gonna be able to open anything. We have three eye brushes from Firm Beauty and it says not for resale. What is that? Have you guys ever gotten things from BoxyCharm and Ipsy where it'll be on their 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 sale page where I'll like, oh, I'll take that, you know, like put it in your cart, you pay for it, and then it comes and the package on it says not for sale. What is that? Like, how did I just buy it then if it's not for sale? Can someone explain that to me, please? So anyway, it's gonna have my little grubby fingerprints all over it because I'm like totally like moisturized. But we have some nice shapes here. We got the a nice little angled one. And then we've got like this nice little one there. And this one has like a little, this one is a flat wider on that. See? So the another product we have in here is a shadow and liner quick uh, by Tarte a quick stick shadow and liner. So it's golden pink luster and then black would be the liner. Golden pink luster is the shadow. So on this side we have the shadow 
And then on this side, you have the black liner. Just a twist up kind. Am I gonna keep this? Wait, do I have this? I don't wanna sample it if I have it. Because then I can just give it to you guys. Go, I do have it. So let's not sample it. I'm not going to swatch it. I'll swatch it with the one that I already have. Because actually I have three of them from Tarte. So this is the one that, um, that just came in this box. So I'll show you. Really nice. Formula glides on great. You know, blends out. The shadow blends out real nice. The last product that we have in this bag is Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the color 3 Warm Light Brown. Hi, is there no lid to it? Is the lid still in there? Is there, is that how this, is, do you guys, <laughs> is there supposed to be a lid to this liner or is it just like this? Is it just me? There's nothing else in this box. It's empty. It just seems like there should be a lid or like a, you know, like a cap, not a lid. I don't know why I'm saying lid, but it feels like there should be a cap because there's nothing. You see what I mean? And then the product is down in there and then you just, you twist it up. And then you twist it. So then what, how do you keep that clean? So like if you have it in your makeup bag, like you're going to get stuff like down in it. So I don't know. I mean, maybe it doesn't come with one, but I would think that it should. But what do I know? I don't know. Packaging, the outer packaging, and then that's the thing. So anyway, you guys, I think this was a good, um, this was a good, good month for Ipsy. Then the Truly um, Butter, the Unicorn Butter. Unicorn Fruit Whipped Body Butter. Just, you guys look into it. You got dry skin, get it. Get it. Okay. Don't be crying at me later. Heather, I got dry skin. Did you get your Truly Body Butter? You didn't? Told you. Told you to get it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. So anyway, this box or this bag, um, 120 bucks. But there's nothing on there telling you like the Kate Somerville is this much and then like gives you like a product description. I mean, you got description on the box, but still it'd be kind of nice like what BoxyCharm they tell you here's this, this is what it does, and here's the, the, the retail value of it. So I kind of like that with BoxyCharm. But anyway, okay, so this eye pencil, I think I'm just gonna stick in my drawer because like I said, I don't want it to get like all, all like grubby, you know, cause there's no cap. Anyway, okay guys, I got other videos to film. I gotta wrap this one up. Thank you so much for being here. You guys really are friggin' the best. When you guys make your nice little comments, it seriously like makes my day. And even some of you guys that make your little snarky comments, it still makes my day. It makes me laugh. I love it. Anyway, I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye.